And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast. C and... Just clap back. Just Joel. <laughs> this time we've got blades from all over creation from brands like... Boker. Real Steel. Bradford, USA. Bark River. Sog. You could go oh, just a teensy, tiny Let's bit. move quickly. Ethor. Ethor. Like we said, from all over the creation. So, we're going to get started with the Bark River the classic drop point hunter. Yep. Now, in their line, they have tons of options. 18, but you know how they do. You might see one this year, and then one in three more years. It's a long time. But they range from S45VN to A2, A2 tool steel. I think it's like 18 overall. So this one right here is 8.25 inch overall, a 3.75 inch drop point S45VN steel blade with a convex crown and 0.16 thickness. Comes to about 59, 60, 61 on the HR C scale with plain edge and satin finish. Handle on this model is natural brown canvas McCarter. Polish too, nice. So it comes with a brown like, brown like leather sheath you can attach to your belt, pack, whatever you want. Made in the USA, this design is based off Bob Loveless's famous drop point hunter, but with a little bit of a Bark River flair. So you can pursue all medium and large species of North American game with the classic Bark River Hunter for just two seventy nine eighty four. AK, you know that Loveless is a madman. Uh huh. <clears throat> That's great. All right. Just like that buddy Love too. Yeah. Yeah. Mine was from Wild Wild West. Oh, but Wild Wild West. This knife here. To the Wild we're gonna start having more Bark River. So we're trying to have everything they get as it comes in. I'm sure. That could be more than We're only going to have five or six at a time. Oh, yeah. Because you just don't get not very even. many. Yeah, sometimes not even. And you don't get but a couple models. So yeah. that's kind of how it works. I love this knife. It's it's beautifully sculpted. It is perfectly clean on the back. I mean, I couldn't tell you where the spine end and begin compared to these handles. Uh-huh. These scales. I mean, you can't feel it anywhere in there. I mean, it's just, you know. Nice little It's two seventy nine eighty four. That's what you would expect. I don't think I need to say anything. I think you you covered it. Next blade. So with that, we're on to the next blade. The there it is. Boker. Hold on. There we go. The Boker Tracker. Yeah. Give it Look a rip. That. That's nice. Okay. So, this fixed blade is offered in both regular and mini. Regular, I guess. Yeah, we have the regular. So, it's a whopping 12.28 inches overall with a 7.2 inch 1095 carbon steel blade with plain edge corrosion resistant powder coating and 0 0.24 inch thickness handle is brown brown canvas micarta with hmm. yep go ahead very nice designed by dave winger winger this full tang carry comes with a custom fit black kydex sheath yes. belt adapter and box. Not usable for anything other than carrying the knife. Yeah. This knife also features three hollow brass rivets and two different grinding surfaces. Ooh. Ideal for chopping, cutting, scraping, digging, and whatever levering is. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing it's when you're like trying to I just wanted you to try to show the... us. Don't just survive the outdoors. <sighs> That's conquer them. That's great. With the Boker Tracker from AK.com. For only 127 Ah, oh, my favorite part right there. Okay, so for those interested, the micro or mini tracker is 9.84 inches overall with a 5.31 inch blade. It is only 7036 mm -hmm. on So I'm going to go first. Do it. I think this blade can rival tops, okay? It's big. It's got the 1095 steel. It's got the black powder coating, carta handle. It wasn't made in the USA. Yeah, uh, neither was Chanel Bunchen. And and what what does that mean? I mean, she's just a fine person, don't you think? Oh, is she? Well, mm -hmm. obviously, someone doesn't think so. Ah. But it's still gonna serve the same purpose, and it's got the heft. I mean, it's like nine point five two ounces, I think. So you're definitely gonna be able to do all that stuff, you know, chopping, cutting, all that. The only thing I would say is that I'm not crazy that there isn't like a usable. Oh my gosh! No way. Oil. I, if I'm gonna this look at this. You see this? 
Maybe it's because I have a smaller hand. Maybe that's it. But like, there's this divot here on the uh -huh. spine for you to do this. And yeah, my only complaint with this knife was it wasn't that there was a usable choil. I was okay that that wasn't there. It was that this part wasn't extended a little bit more to keep my hand from slipping onto this second grind. Just a little bit more, like right here. That was the only complaint I had. I mean, if I'm going to be chopping and levering and all that stuff, you know, I'm not going to be like, oh, let's do it real quietly. Oh, I'm going to make sure I don't cut my hand. I mean, you're going to be doing it. So that was my only complaint. That was mine. Now, when you said it rivals the Tom Brown tracker, right. well, you said tops. I'm sorry. Tops. You didn't say Tom Brown tracker. Well, but I would say similar. this. That was in mind. That thing has been out for 15, 17 years at least. It's, got it's some, about time somebody did one. I know. <laughs> it's got some edge on you already. So. Yeah, but I, I, you know what? I'm not sure why you would get rid of your tracker when it works just fine and go with this. Now, if you were going for a new one, I think it'd be okay to go with this and save a few bucks. At least uh, 60 on the big one and uh, 40 on the small one. I'd do it. All right, next play. So, on the docket. On the docket. I'm sorry. And that is the my only courtroom humor that I get to use throughout the entire courtroom thing. Humor? Yeah, next item on the docket. You can't object. Are you mocking me? <laughs> with that outfit? <laughs> no. I don't think so. Real Steel G Frame, available in plain titanium and black gold titanium. So we have the plain gray. Go ahead, see. All right. This frame lock features a 3.46 inch bowler N690 satin finish blade with jimping. Plain edge, open with jimp flipper tab. This folder has a reversible tip up wired pocket clip and comes with a cleaning cloth mm -hmm. and box. Yep, designed by, oh stop, pal. This knife is a cross between gentleman folder and a tactical carry and was inspired by the ever popular real steel G-slip. Operating on ball bearings, this knife just glides open to a user-friendly 7.8 inches overall. It's got a bead blasted finish titanium handle and a hidden lanyard. I say hidden lanyard hole because it's so hidden, I can't even find it, okay? <laughs> I feel like it could be the spacer, like they're gonna wrap it around because when you close the blade, it doesn't go fully to that. I can show you. Mm -hmm. It stops, so maybe they want you to wrap it around it, but I don't really call maybe that a Maybe it's so hidden they forgot to put it on there, too. It could be it, too. Yeah, I guess that way Either hole. way, I got you. you can get a real steel G-frame starting at only $117.84. $117.84. From alandknife.com. There it is. Okay. All right, what so let's think? see. Um, I don't want to copy anything that you were going to say. I know what you kind of say in your mind. Mm-hmm. I'll bet. It kind of does remind Are you me. Hearing what I'm saying right now. The grind on the not the grind, the scales. Yes. Kind of remind me of the real steel puko, which I actually like better. The real steel puko. Yeah, it has a puko grind. Oh, uh, okay. It, they, you know, it's a nice knife. I like it. It's titanium. Mm -hmm. In six ninety, probably isn't my yeah, forte. You're not, you're not crazy but in the one seventeen eighty four range. I mean, it's you know, fine. it's probably comparable to 154, so, you know. I just know that I think I've seen this design about a hundred times from Real Steel. Every time they come up with a knife, it looks like this. The Phasma, they got like three different Phasmas. The G-Slip look like this. I know it's designed after that one. They got tons of them that look just like this. I mean, the only difference is this one's a not a front flipper, mm -hmm. which I applaud. Thank you. But I think at this point, with all the knives you have, you should be trying to make something that stands out. And this doesn't really stand out to me. I mean, well, maybe old stop it, got what used to one stop. It, it's one <laughs> stop. Couldn't couldn't change. I mean, it does say real steel when I see it. I know it's a real steel, but it doesn't say those most important two words. Ah, made in the USA. No. Yeah, you didn't get that. But that's by okay. me. I, I was thinking. <laughs> you, you'll, you'll get two it. words. West Side Story. Oh no, nah, Sean, a, that's three. Okay. This is made in the our, USA. That's... Our educated listeners got that. Oh, did they? Okay, mm -hmm. our educated listeners also. Yeah. Great. With that, we're on to the SOG Altair XR NFX. Yeah. We'll start with the XR. So available in several color options. Come on, man. Yeah. Dusk, Field Green, Canyon Red, and Squid. Not Squidward, Squid Ink. Yeah, it's like a weird blue. We got the Canyon Red. 
So it's 7.2 inches when fully deployed and sports a 3.2 inch Cryo CPM 154 drop point blade. This one has the black finish, but a few of the other ones have the bead blasted. It's got a plain edge and jimping. Look right there. Handle on this one is Canyon Red GRN. Glass That's reinforced nylon. nylon. And it's got the gray stone XR button uh, dual sided thumb studs, both of which can deploy the blade. All right. Of course, it's got the XR lock we've all come to know and love. Yep, so here you go. Oh, and I get to play with it? Yeah, especially right. C. C loves Look at that. that. See, I love this thing. This one feels so light, too. It's like, here, have some knife. And it floats over Would you like you. some? There it is. One more time. It's like a feather floats oh, how about on this? the wind. Boom. Boom. That's great. That's great. Go ahead. I love that part. Okay. All right. I don't get that one. Lastly, go this folder features a reversible low carry tip of pot clip. Or Beats me. You can swap it out and put in a lanyard loop. Oh which I maybe that's not... where Jill, real steel's hiding theirs. Oh, over in a completely different country. <laughs> it's over in the song box. Oh, okay. There we go. Which I will not be demonstrating. Maybe if we get enough requests, I'll do like a five minute review and I'll show you how to swap it out, but it's only if we get enough. Of course, the other SOG Altair knives have different lanyard loop colors along with the handles, the thumb studs, and the mm. XR button lock. There it is. So you can get swinging with the SOG Altair. XR for only $124.95 from LangKnife.com. I think I went a little early with this. These days I'm just going to fly right yeah, out of my hand. Day. I have to say, I like the XR knives that SOG releases, and I like that they did something different, you know, with the swapping out of the pocket clip and the layer hole. Mm -hmm. A little gimmicky, but I like that they try to do something different. I would have liked something a little longer, and maybe a little larger. I do think that the really slim, light thing is good for a perfect, like, pocket, everyday carry. And I like the pop of color. It cuts nicely. What do you think? I think all those things. Awesome. I like the slimness of it. But I do think that what it seems like we're doing here is we're making uh, less knife I knew you were say and that. more money, and we're we're trying to tell you it's like it's like aircraft uh, titanium. Aircraft I mean, this thing grade. Is, yeah, I mean that stuff's light and it costs. It, it just you know seems a little pricey. But how is that different than a terminus? <laughs> terminus is just a little thicker. Well, you know it's funny. And some Here's of them have S35. This is how much. Nobody and then we knows. just said it. We just said it. Well, we said 124.95, but we were talking about this one right here, right? Now we're talking about the oh, folder. This one. We haven't done the FX. 124.95. So. A okay. terminus is like 50s. And if you check out our Black Friday sale, you're probably going to find bring one sticker. way less than that. You know, we're the only person when they do these Thanksgiving Black Friday sales where we actually do like buy one, get one free. And not like raise the price twice as much and cut it in half and say, hey, it's hey, buy one, get one free. We actually just do buy, buy one, get one, one free. free. Oh, look, and here's the Black Friday sticker oh, yeah. that you may or may not receive and in your that, package. that, my friends, was not scripted. This is my job right here. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> guess what? Go make stickers. Guess what? <laughs> It's rain and Black Friday sales. That was yes. Like, it was too much. It was not too much. It I was got, just enough. You only supposed to get one in each package. <laughs> okay. All right, moving on. Where are we at? We are on to the SOG. Oh, the FX. That's right. Station that Dish Network took off my TV without telling me. <laughs> Along with ESPN. Leave it later. But that's later. okay. Later. They don't like me anyway. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell so you can get access to all of our amazing content. You know it's like going there and try to watch a game of a team that stinks? Stinks! UVA, Virginia, for those of you who didn't know what UVA means, it does not mean great. And you go That's there, Uva. and Uva. I know, my, my Spanish Ramon. teacher once told me that. And you go there to watch the game and you realize the channel's gone. You're thinking, wow, I come to watch a sucky team and you can't, you take it off my TV. I don't know what to tell you. And with that, okay. we're getting automatically entered into giveaways when you like, share, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. Speaking of which, mm -hmm. time to announce the winners of the Cold Steel EDC for your pocket giveaway. So All on right. YouTube, we're giving away the Cold Steel Trapper Set <gasps> Mini and Regular. Those are nice. I know. So the winner of that is none other than Paul, gonna butcher your name, Bessemer. All right. And over on AK's blog, we're giving away the Cold Steel Gentleman Stockman in both Jig Bone and Yellow. Yeah. The winner of those is 
You ready? I'm gonna do it. Johnny Quesadilla? Johnny Carne Quesadilla. Ah, Johnny Queso Quesadilla. It's Johnny Quesada, but it's close enough. Congratulations to our winners. Make sure to email salesatlantic.com to claim your prizes. Good luck with Wendy. Yeah, quesadilla get you by Wendy. <laughs> we thank all of you who participated. We really can't do these giveaways without you guys. Nope. So. We have my give it to you. Exactly. So we're starting our next giveaways right now. Let's do so, it. So if you like, share, comment, subscribe on YouTube, you'll be entered to and win a MaxAce giveaway, which will include a shirt. I think we went with the, the logo this time. Instead of the pelican. Oh, yeah. Because they really helped us out. They gave Wrap us And hat. Hat. And a knife. It'll be one of these. So either the Legion Fixed blade or, or a, the folder. Or yeah. a folder. All right. And over at Case Blog, we'll be giving away a Max A shirt, hat, knife. One, either one of the knives. We ain't decided which one. Just answer the AK trivia question and you'll be entered Johnny two times. Yep. So we're back, Johnny to, two the, times. back to the table. Do it. <laughs> With the SOG Altair FX. So, similar com color options to the. Uh... <laughs> oh, Black Friday. <laughs> she just stuff got over. mad because I took it out. Sorry. It's similar color options to the XR. So, All right. we got the Red Canyon one. It is 7.6 inches overall with a 3.4 inch titanium nitride coated cryo CPM 154 clip point blade. There's jimping and plain straight edge. It has removable G. RN Class handle. reinforced nylon. Uh, I didn't get to do it together. I know. Gosh. <sighs> Scales that are easy to conceal and come off so you can clean the, the skeletonized uh, fixed blade. Mm -hmm. Finally, it comes with a Kydex sheath and clip right here. Boop. There it Compatible is. Compatible with straps, belts, and Molly. Not the, the drug. drug. Yeah. Well, and it's just, just $149.95 from Atlantic yeah. Knife. Dot com and there's the ding. Unbelievable. I like the folder better. That's all I'm gonna say. Do you? Yep. I have other options. Ouch. Um, there's a lot of people who like to carry a fixed blade. Crispy's one of them. Mm -hmm. He and would a just he would just mount too. a fixed blade and he'd be like, okay, because he doesn't like the folding action. So, um, if you're that type of person, there you go. If you're and a saw the guy, sheath matches. There you go. It does do that. It's nice. Be a good fishing knife, I'd say that. Kind of reminds me of a fishing knife. Oh, it has that universal belt clip too, where you can pretty much, I mean, you can pretty much mount this thing to anything except a brick wall. Oh. Okay. Well, if you have one of those little brick clips, yeah, yeah, you could possibly, or alien tape, but that's only going to stick for so long. Yeah, I tell you what, don't get me started on alien tape. So we're on to the bread for USA G Cleaver. All right. A few options for this carry. We've got the stone washed. Wow, this is a. Oof, you got it. That's a good sheath right there. That's like her stick, too. Stone wash and black DLC ones we have mm -hmm. today. So, this fix carry is 5.875 inch overall, the 2.75 inch LMAX cleaver style blade. It's got a plain edge flat grind and a stone wash finish, at least on this version. Handle is quarter inch thick, blade is 0.15 inch thick, and weighs only 2.68 ounce. Comes a black Kodak sheath, lanyard and lanyard hole. The Hold other on. model has a black DLC finish. Hold on. Give it to him now. I'm gonna demonstrate the sheath. Look at that. That's a nice click. Yep. But the style on it's the same. So. Mm, the little sheath shimmy. Uh oh. That's the little. Send that back. <laughs> That's defective. <laughs> With blemishes. Each, Each was made in the USA oh. and ready to carry on the wow. neck, starting at just eighty-six, eighty-four. I was waiting on you. Dot com. Thank yep. you. It's good. So I have to say, this is a good, decent little neck carry. I mean, I like how thick the steel is, and you know, it's Almax, so you got quality and it's going to hold up to the constant use you're going to use it for since it is a neck carry. Mm -hmm. they, they get used a lot. I would have liked a little bit longer, but that's just my personal preference. I mean, it doesn't impede the use or handling the knife in any way. I just would have liked it a little longer. Personal preference. Yeah. I, you know, I, I've I'm seen a lot of skeletonized knives in my preference. time. Um, in my time. <laughs> I mean, it's nice knife. I'm not a, a I'm not a neck knife guy, and I'm not a skeletonized handle person. But you know, if okay. you want to L max, I mean, this thing is really thick. Isn't I know. It? It's crazy thick, and I, I believe it or not, I like the little USA you they put on it. Me. You could bring you some cord wrap out here, and well, you could bring you some paracord out here and wrap it up. I'll take it. They would look nice. Oh, I got that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, with the Bradford, we've come to the Altor. 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 Altor, Altor, call the whole thing off. That's it. Alamo. 
So a new brand we've added to our extensive brand lineups. They hail from Spain and have been in business for over 85 years. They offer a wide range of like uh, hunting blades or military knives, tactical, all kinds. So the Alamo comes in only one option. How many options do you need? I guess not many since yep. there's just this one. So it's nine inches overall with a four and a half inch Mova stainless steel blade. Is that Missouri blade. and Virginia? No. Oh. With satin finish, plain edge, and no jimping. Didn't jimp it up. Nope. But it does come to about 55, 58 on the Rockwell scale and is Aetor's own improvement over the famous 440C alloy. This carbon steel also has been heat treated to get Aetor's incredible shaping sharp edge. Mm. Lastly, this fixed blade has a wood handle lanyard hole and comes with a brown leather belt sheath with a snap button enclosure. Yes. They went old school on the sheath. About time. I like the sheath. I like that better too. <sighs> Remember, the Aetor Alamo for just 7884. From Atlanta.com. 7884. Think about that. Mm. It's a pretty good deal, I have that to is. say. Actually, this style is very similar to knives we've seen made by Joker, mm -hmm. also from Spain. They could be cousins, I don't know. I like their knives a lot, and I like this one a lot. I mean, this is a good sized blade, though I've never heard of Mova steel. I mean, it could be big in Spain. I don't know. I'd have to do more uh, research on it. Didn't feel like doing it. No, not yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna look into it. You know, I'm guessing it's probably on par with D2 or like just above 440C, somewhere around there. Mm-hmm. Because it's good budget steel and it's just 78 bucks, so you're not gonna get like. Elements well, I like the beefiness of the handle. I like how that. You can't it's a tell. Thick, full tang. Look at but that. But it's thing. it's a little different thickness in different places, so it better fits your hand. I like that. I don't like a skinny handle. I like a big handle. The whole thing's big. I don't know what you're talking about. The skinny handle, skinny blade, the whole thing. Well, I mean, it's big. not that big. I mean, look at it. I don't know. It's pretty big. And I also don't like when the blade is, is shorter than the handle. I kind of like them even. I like to be able to put my thumb up there and my finger up there when I need to. I like this knot. It's a lot of steel in this. I like so. the dark brown leather belt sheets. Mm -hmm. I just like the color. They look better. When you stamp stuff into it, it looks good. I just like those better all the time. All right. Okay, that was our final blade on the table. I know. What? I know, everyone's crying. Oh, wow. Tearing up. Let's do it. But make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, as well as ring that bell. That way you get access to all of our content as soon as it's up. No. I'm sorry. I know I was thinking to myself, what a for goodness world. sake, let's That's get some cake. cake. <laughs> you also get entered in our giveaways. Make good. sure to get entered into our max up giveaways, both here on YouTube and AK's blog. Link for that is in the description. We're also on social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, Instagram, and Rumble. Yeah. Look us up for all things knives and outdoors. You can also head over to Spotify or our gaggle of other podcast sites and listen to Gearing Up with AK, our own podcast where we talk about knives, movies, mother-in-laws, basically anything that pops into our brains. Mother-in-laws. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Favorite knife this week? Go. Favorite knife. Yep. Trekker. Okay. Really? There it is. Yep. I really? actually thought when I first saw it, man, I might have to take this out there instead of my Tom Brown, Tom Brown tracker. tracker. I don't know. I'm kind of torn between the Aethor I like that one too, but and the Bark River. I'm not a big brushed stainless. Uh, I like that. Uh -huh. I think I'm going to have to go with the Aethor LMO. Are you really? Yeah. I like the polished Micarta and the flushness of the Bark River, but... I like the sheath and I like the look. I'm sorry. Right. I'm like a joke. There it too. is. Another week. There you have it. With that, I'm C and this is Nobody Cares. Just Joel and we are signing off. It doesn't matter what your name is. Do you? Yep. That way, you know, you can come up with your own amazing well, thing to say. when it comes to fixed not blades, cheat off mine. Yep. I have other options. Okay. Ready? Yep. You want to go? I'm going to go. You're on to the next. All right, next blade. So.